Stand by for action. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel and welcome to all the new subscribers. Hello, I hope you like the random stuff I put up here. Right then, so what we got going on? It is Friday the 11th of November, Armistice Day, and I've traveled up to North Wales to come and do the, uh, the Gwydda, the Gwydda Mar ride. I think it's the old, it used to be called the Marin Trail. There it is, that's the start, and this is the car park. So yeah, just over, just over there you've got Glen Roost, um, and down there you've got Betsy Coyd. So yeah, I've been meaning to do this one for a while. I've heard uh, mixed reviews. Some people say it's good, some people say it's shit, and some people say it's a bit. So uh, I thought I'd bite the bullet and travel up here on my day off and uh, give it a go. The weather, the BBC got it wrong. They said there's going to be no rain today and we got some medium to light drizzle. <laughs> so I got uh, the jacket on. I reckon that'll be coming off because it is quite warm. No change to the bike, but I have gone full protection on the rear with a full rear mudguard now. That stays on all, the, all year, and I reckon that that's gonna stay on all year. And there's a man with his dog. Nice purple helmet, sir. I like your, nice purple helmet. It's a woolly hat, not a purple helmet. <laughs> Enjoy the day. <laughs> right then, so uh, yeah, new mud, new mud guard, that's on. Don't wanna get crap up my back because it's that time of the year now in the UK. Right, enough of this. Yakin, Woodguard Yakin, let's get Gwida Mauer cracking <laughs> in a bit, peeps. All right, boys, let's get going. Let's have a look at the information boards first, boys. All right, so you've got the Glider Mauer, Glider Bach. We're going to be doing the Glider Mauer 25 Ks, heading on a foot there. BBC weather on the CV, no rain today, but it's bloody light to medium drizzle. Right, let's get going. Okay, Clear Mar, X Marin. Never done this before. Always wanted to give it a go, so let's see what it's like. Gonna be no dramas today. Just a nice casual ride. See what this place is all about. It's gonna be very slippy. I don't want any uh, incidents. Rear mud guards making a lot, a lot of noise on the bumps. It's really slippy on the uh, the leaves and the rocks and the roots. Fire road. Mark Collingwood did say there was a lot of fire roads, about 60%. <laughs> Still plodding up this cheeky fire road. Ah, oh, dear me. Oh, carry on up the fire road. Still on the bloody fire road, but we've got some uh, viewage opening up, op opening up to us. Right. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's a shame the weather's a bit pants. Right, where's a nice landmark I can see? Right, I know where we are now. Yeah, so uh, just over this side, you got Kumegiao, and then over there you got the uh, Glitteri, Karnethai, and heading over there you got Treven, Snowden, the glitters and all that good stuff. It's just a shame the weather's a bit rubbish. And we've got a track to go down. What's that one called? Mochin something or other. Right, let's give it a go. Right, what's this one? Mochin head fan. Rim mud guards really noisy, I'll have to sort that out. Ah, we're going down to another fire road. Excellent! Are we? Yes, we are. Ah. 
Right, where did we go? Oh no, straight on. Nice. Bloody hell, those rocks are treacherous, man. Jesus Christ. Do they come a cropper then? I'm going to take it bloody easy. Very, very slippy. No bloody heroics today. <laughs> Shit. Not that I do heroics. Wow. Wow. Fuck, I nearly went the cropper big time then. Jesus Christ. My goodness, that was bloody. My arse went then. Fuck those rocks. You're trying to break on them and it just goes. Shit. Up we go. And uh, down we go. I am taking it very, very steady from now on. All right, road section, we go left. And there's a sign we're going down the way. Bit of old mineage there. Do we go this way or back down there? Ah, here we go. More uphill fire road. More fire roads. Bloody hell, Andy. Bloody, bloody hell. Bloody fire road. Extreme tree traverse. <laughs> awesome. It's really warm as well. Windy, damp and warm. Get over there, my son. Oh, I've got a signage. I think we turn off right off the fire road or forest track, whatever you want to call it. Right, what's this one called? Glass. Glass. G-L-A-S. It's all like bloody glass, the way these bloody rocks are. And now I know how slippery they are, I'm taking it easy. Nice scary words there, boys. Dude, that rear fender, man, it's really noisy. Not awesome at all. Just take us to another fire road. Yep, awesome. <laughs> all right, we're starting to head off the uh, the fire road. No, what's now? What's this one called? At least the rain stopped. It's just a bit blustery now. Pandora. Show us what's in your box, love. Hope it's not loads of rocks.
Whoops. Right, we're going down this one. This is called Kifty. Not Custy. Oh, like my son, it's Kifty. Probably Welsh for Custy. Right, <laughs> ah, I know where we are. All right, we seem to go up here. Uh, right, up here. Hey, more forest track. Awesome, yep. Thank you, Mr. Lorry driver. It's a real shame the, uh... oh there's a, here's a track going off there, I was just about to do a little piece, not to camera. Yeah, it's a real shame the cloud cover's really low, as you can see it over there. There'd have been some spectacular viewage. Anyway, it is what it is, at least it's not raining. Warm and windy, right. We're going up there. What's this one called? Arth Araf boy. All right boys, it's Arth Araf. Tidy. Oh, tree down. Ooh. Bloody hell, Andy, it's a bloody tree. Right, we've uh, negotiated the tree. Back to some fire road. Windy fire road. Awesome. <laughs> ah, I missed this one. Paradois Pixie. All right, let's go. Okay, back to a fire road. Awesome! Now, which way do we go? Left. Okay, straight on. Looks like this one's called Dog. Son, slippery roots. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm gonna fail because I'm crap at this kind of stuff. Yes, I've failed. 
I'm shit at this stuff. Okay. Switch back. Ah, oh, come on. Yes. Oh, yeah. That was a bit of a, a nice uphill twisty bit. Okay. Interesting. Right, I almost died coming down that them root them rooty bits. <laughs> Shitty death. Almost died. Nice. Right, that last little bit, Christ, that was really slippy. I bloody almost died coming down there. So uh might be different in the dry, but in the wet. <laughs> okay, so it looks like we go up here. Pont Banog. Oops, slippy roots. They just hate slippy roots. Ouch. Fuck's that? That's not good. Bloody hell, Andy. Right then, boy. Wow, that's bloody nice, look at that. That is proper, proper picturesque, that is. Oh. Arse. Right, I've seen these steps. Oh, we're gonna have to fucking, fucking push up them. Right, that's the Danny, Danny McCaskill, Chris Agcrig section, that is. Bloody hell. That was a push job, I ain't got their skills. I think even they'd struggle with this bloody slippiness. Anyway, up there. All right, back on some forest track now. Excellent. Oh no, I spoke too soon. What's this called? Endor. Endor. It's a North Shore, awesome. Bloody mud guard. I'm gonna have to try and bodge some stays to uh, keep it stable. Okay, through the woods. Dawns, oh, that's what's called Dawns.
neighbourhood of the forest road. Huzzah! Okay, we've got to turn off. What's this? Pocky or something, I don't know. Excellent! Whoop. What's this one called now? Kreuzsau. I think it's called that's Welcome, isn't it? In, uh, in Welsh. Kreuzsau Cymru. Oh dear me. Pardon me. Right, where do we go? Straight on, boys. Get up there, my son. Oh, dear me, I'm blowing a bit here. Where do we go? Signage, thank you. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're on another fecking forest track. <laughs> awesome. Yep. Up this bloody thing now. Fire Road Central. Okay, another junction. And we're going back up the fire road still. Bloody hell. Got us a turn now. Is that under the fire road? Hey, by Eckers like. Extreme puddle crossing. Awesome. Got wet feet anyway, because my. Uh, my seal skin socks aren't seal skin anymore. <laughs> Bloody soaking. Just come down there and I almost missed that one. No name, just a Gwedemar. That was a little pants section. <laughs> and now we're going, uh, where do we go? Oh, we go up here. More forest road. Awesome. You. That was a close one. I shouldn't have turned it up here. That, that'll have taken me back round the loop again. It's got to be that way. I've just checked the, the uh, GPX route on memory map. And I didn't actually see a red sign. Not unless I'm going blind. Yeah, not paying attention. <laughs> it bloody tells me to go straight on. I just saw that one and panicked. Anyway, it's all good now. We're not far from the end. So... Uh, I got two par two bars, two bars of petrol. I did set off with four bars because I obviously didn't charge it fully last night. Been using a lot of eco and not using the power assist where possible to save electrical petrol. And we should make it back in. It's really bloody windy. I hope I don't get a tree fall on me, Bonds. And don't think the uh, fox drop frame will protect me.
Hey, more Firos. Awesome. You. Okay, what's this one called now? Read Ras. All right, boys, we're going to read your Ras. Tidy. That's this skull and crossbones, not quite sure what that is, but yeah, we'll have that. Good old 170 travel, that's a nice drop, I'd say. Bigger than what it looks in uh, on the videos. Oof. And that's this one. Yeah. All right, boys, we're going to drop some drops here, yeah, yo. Yeah. Oof. Well, slippy rips, rips, roots. Right, we're coming near the end now, so uh, I haven't had any injuries, so I'm going to take it easy on this last bit. What's that? Okay. Yeah, I don't want to become a cropper right at the end, do I? Yep. Come on, let's get some air. Whoa, yes. That was rather fun, some nice drops. The first one was pretty big actually. What's this now? Uh, Reed Rice or something. I, I didn't get that. Anyway, it's a, it's a Welsh name. I really do need to sort that rear, rear bloody mud guard out. I think we've got some rubbish as well. Yeah, that was close, nearly at the tree. <laughs> yeah, that was a bit too close for comfort, that bloody tree coming at you at rapid rate of knots. Anyway. Right, this is, this is us back at the car park now. Oh, there we go. Guido Mauer, done. A few mount mountain bikers, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. 
Ooh. Oh. Back at the car. All right, boys and girls, there we go then. We're on our trail. Done. Yeah, would I, uh, hmm. like I say, I'd be meaning to come and do it anyway. I'm glad I have. I've traveled two and a half hours to get here. Uh, yeah, if you like fire roads, <laughs> come and do this trail. It's bloody loads of loads of bloody fire roads. So, Mr. Collingwood, you were correct. I'd even say it was a bit more than 60%, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's all good. I wouldn't come here again, not unless I was up in the area. Uh, I wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't recommend making a special trip from wherever. Good guy with his, his white e-bike there. Yeah, I wouldn't make a special trip up here. Um, but I've done it. I would recommend it if, well, I'd recommend it if you're in the area and you didn't have to travel, but no, I wouldn't make a special trip. Right then, uh, I'm out of here. I'm going to have a, a sausage sarni and a cup of tea, which I've got in the car. My sealskin socks are no longer sealskin. Mudguard needs some stays to stop it from making that horrendous noise. 17.4 miles on Shimano steps, and I didn't bother checking on Strava to compare the mileage, but anyway, that's me. Next week, I'm off up to Dargethlai for a couple of days, Cadridris and uh, Cody Brennan. So change to, to tune in for that one. Right the peeps, until the next round of content, in a bit. <laughs>